Everybody, what's up? Ultramag64 here, and welcome back to this strange realm of mine. Last time we left off, we played a place in Wales, and now we're here in some very dilapidated, deliciously monster filled ramen noodle place. I don't know. Probably looks like my, my house, if I'm being honest. Also, this thing! Hey, look at this. I got a... No, I was wanting the letter. Postal, pick up your package. Tiny crew. Cruis? Cruis? Yeah, well, that's a bathroom. Ah. Uh, hi? No? What the? What the? That was weird. Creep. GTFO, nobody likes you. Lost soul. Oh, what the? Okay, fine. You make this neighborhood look bad. Hi, right, can I have my pack? Can I have my package? Please? No? Okay, bye. Hi. Um. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing! I'm assuming getting the hell uh, high. Oh my. Oh, those things hurting me! Okay. Where do I go? Like, what? What do I- Hi, can you help me? Brave. Um, hello. You don't seem like the others. Who are you? Hey, my name's Brave. Not the most suiting name, really. Who are these people? They keep startling- staring at me. They keep startling me, too. <laughs> you too, huh? I also used to get dizzy and anxious around strangers. Felt like they stared at me. Laughed behind my back. I used to get self-conscious about how I walked, talked, act. Heck, even how much my breathing is heard and... Oh, sorry, did mean to rant, but it's been so long since I've met someone like you. Or like me. Yeah, funny about that, that's a lot of the things I have wrong with me. That's kind of a little too weird. Used to? You mean there's a cure? There's never a cure, dude. It's just something you deal with. Well, cure and... Cure and insight, I guess. You see, you might be afraid of a lot of different things. Airplanes, insects, snakes, um, dogs. And yeah, well, some of these are pretty logical, like who isn't afraid of the sea? It's scary as hell, all heck, and dangerous. And there are legitimately monsters, there are legitimately, legitimate monsters living deep down there. And uh, well, the sea is dangerous, okay? Well, there are other fe fears, like cats. Cats are cute, cuddly floofballs that are super friendly, right? Well, some people are so terrified of cats that they tremble. So my fear is like being afraid of cats? <laughs> yeah, I guess. If you see people as harmless cats walking around, they no longer scare you, right? That's what I did. Uh, well, that might actually work. Not me, at least. I realized that there was no real threat in the situation. In fact, it was just me as it was just me who was too self-conscious really. Like I said, I was afraid that they would laugh at me. I think I looked stupid or talked funny, but in the end, who cares? Who cares if I look the stupidest or talk the funniest in the whole world? I'm just me and I want to continue being me. Actually, I think everyone is equally insecure. Some just show it more than others. Huh, that's, that's actually kind of close to how I kind of dealt with things. Although I learned that I just don't care. Life's meaningless and there is no point. And if you want to be you, then just be you. Because guess what? You only live here once and that's just that. Once you're done, you're done. And so who gives a hair? Nobody's going to remember you when you're dead anyway. I got this postal note. Do you know anything about it? Oh, you can pick it up at the postal office. Or at the post post office. You just passed it. Can't miss it. 
Do you know where the exit is? The exit's right here behind this door. It's locked, though. I've been looking for the key myself, but to no avail. Sorry. Alright, bye then. Bye! See you again! Huh. Okay, well, can't use that. Oh! Well, meow meows! Hello! How are you? This is adorable. There, excuse me. Excuse, excuse, excuse me! I wanna read this, cat? You will not stop me in my pursuit! The ad addiction leads to depression. And in depression, you're taught some lessons. If you listen, they keep on pushing, and the solution cause a causes evolution. Obstacles come inside of your path and make you switch up and step on the gas. If you look back inside of your path, you find direction. It's like your own map. Underachievers. Aw. Hello? Um, I have a thing. Manjo! Do you have a package to pick up? Yeah, here's a post-up thing. Let's see. Here's your package, Tiny Cross. The heck is this thing? Okay. Well, uh, I got that. Can't access my inventory. Um. Hey, is this thing? In oh. Hey, is this thing important? Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Did I grab the thing? Hi, how are ya? Well, this place is just quaint. Hi. Uh, hello. Hello. Kitties everywhere! Yeah, no, that was legitimately terrifying there for a minute. <laughs> I wasn't sure what the heck was going on. I guess this is supposed to be like my anxiety and insecurities center, I guess. Maybe my guess. Uh, Brave. Okay, that's her. Jane Mary. Don't know who that is. Extract. No idea. Alan Watts. Uh, can't get through there. Oh, little cats. Lost soul. Huh. Okay. Well, I have no earthly idea what the heck I've grabbed is. Or what to do with it. This is relatively small. Ah! Hi! Are you Tiny Cruz? Meow! Oh, is that in the package for me? Hmm. It's my delicious fishy bones I ordered. Thanks. Thanks, you so lot. Oh, and the postman gave me this. I guess it's yours. Lost soul. Okay. Thanks. Can I come in? I really want to come in. I'm coming in. Oh, interesting. I like this one. That's pretty cool. Okay, bye. Hello. This place is a lot nicer now. I can live here. Cattopia. I can do that. So I guess I'm a courier of some kind, which is fine by me. Hello. Hello. You have a package to pick up. Yeah, here's a post note. Here you go. What is this? Is this a key? Is this a key I need? Is this a key I need? It is. This is relatively short. Oh, you found the key? Yeah, you should join me. R really? Thanks! Yeah, I'd love to get out of this out of here. It's a bit too crowded for my taste. Anyways, not to mention all the cat hair you get stuck in my dress. Okay. I feel like this world's way too short though. Like there's gotta be more to this place. Can I not go anywhere else? 
Like, I mean, there's so many other rooms. Like, this guy. What's his story? And this guy. Morty, are we gonna go on an adventure, Morty? Morty! Okay, that's her room. I guess... I guess there's nothing else for us to do here. It kind of seems like a waste. I was kind of hoping for more. Like, I mean, yeah, here's my room, but there's nothing to do in there. Interesting concept, though. I like the message. I really like the message. It rings home for me, because that's exactly what I did. How the heck do I get out of here? Where the heck's the darn door? Kind of glad I didn't get to... This didn't turn into shooty shooty bang bang kitty cats. Because, uh... I would not be okay with that. Where the heck's the door? Oh, it's over here. Alright, laters! Oh gosh, this is a tiny one. The world started to fall apart. At times, I wondered whether or not I should just stop my journey. But I continued to see the world from a different angle. Everyone around me suddenly felt like... Automatic robots just walking around in their daily routines. Bound by their own invisible ropes. Or rules. Rules. I refused to become one of them. I just couldn't stand the thought. The slightest. But then, one day, I found myself in a situation where I couldn't choose. It was... It was something about her gaze. It was definitely the eyes. Huh. Interesting. Alrighty, El Tavern El Limbo. Alrighty, girls. Guys and girls, we got... Actually, it is all girls. Hmm. I mean, it's something I would do. Unintentionally. But also intentionally. Hello! Hey, want to hear another one of my poems? Yeah, I sure do. Yes! Oh, that's a nice little art. I like it. I like it a lot. We, city of the enemy, soldiers moving rapidly, face your, ma your makers heavily. We are living... Tragedies? Okay. Controlling colonies come to our sodomy, fight on land and seas, crawl to us on your knees, kill the enemy, feel the serenity? Sorry, I can't tell that. That's an R, right? Looks like an R. No, the enemy? There's no them, only we. Okay. Oh, sad dark, but okay. You need a sad life if you take pride in, act, in an activity and actively not having fun. Oh, didn't read the option I just picked. Oh, well. Hehe, <laughs> I didn't mean you specifically, silly. It's just so many people love to jump on a bandwagon of hate whenever they encounter new things or concepts. Maybe they're just scared of change? Maybe. Who knows? I sure as heck am not going to care. I'll have fun with whatever I find fun. Huh, internet. Maybe take that to heart. Just a thought. Oh, you got Game Boy. Hey, it's the other work they've done. 3D RPG. That's that's another game the the devs have actually made. What's wrong with your What's with your legs? Hiya. Thanks for letting me come with you. I really needed to change the scenery. No problem. How are you doing? I'm okay. But I catch myself thinking about the past constantly. Anything specific? Not really, no. It's just that we make mistakes. We say or do things we regret. And for whatever reason, we think back to those memories and cringe. Well, those memories don't serve a purpose other than... Uh, well, uh, these memories don't serve a purpose other than bring me down, you know? Other than to bring me down, I guess? Yeah! Yeah, actually, that's... Wow. Huh. Uh, I... Is this lady me? That's weird. Like, that's, that's too close to home. 
It makes me feel uncomfortable. So you want to get rid of them? Nah, nothing so drastic. I'm pretty okay with the fact that I've grown and I know I'm not the only one with a rough past. We all go through our hardships, but what I realized was that I drift into bad memories or memory patterns pretty much automatically. Subconsciously? Yeah. And I can go through all these scenarios of what if and contemplate on what I could have done differently. And that's not entirely bad and all. But I've already gone through it over and over again. I never get anything new. So you're saying stop digging in the past? Exactly. If I realize there's nothing more I can learn or do about it, I try to say I've never gone through this. There's nothing more to gather. Then I try to go back out of then I try to back out of the memory and return to the now. Does it work? Heh. <laughs> well, apparently not well enough yet, but I seem to have gotten a bit better at it. Now I realize it fairly quickly and stop my train of thoughts before I dig myself deeper into this emotional hole. Anyway, thanks for listening. These dark characters are really deep. I love it. Like, not gonna lie, a lot of these characters are hitting a little close to home. Hello! Why are you covered in cat hair? Anyway, have you had time to think about what you and D talked about? I think so. Good! And remember, whatever definition of, or concept you have of, well, anything really, can differ greatly between people. No one is necessarily right or wrong. My teacher said something to me a long time ago about the dangers of being too certain of things. A man with no watch knows the time. A man with two watches is never quite sure. And this might seem like a bad thing, but being unsure of information is better than being sure. It means you're open for possibilities and the flux of the universe. No path is fixed. If you're still a bit unsure, to what the concept of God means to you, this next place might help you come to some form of realization about, well, the greater consciousness that we share. Okay! I like this game. This game's pretty cool. Where am I? What is this place? In a place like this, I am God. Okay. Am I all powerful now? Oh, cool. I've got my items back. Well, most of them. But I sense that bad things are gone. Huh. Okay. Pew! Oops. Pew! Death! Hi! Hi! This was shoddy too hot. The heck? Hi. Ow. What the heck is this thing? Do I poke this? Okay, well, I'm guessing I don't shoot at it because it's not doing anything. the heck this thing is. Well, whatever, it's not my problem. I'm just gonna keep on rolling through the motions! I really miss my shoddy too hotty. That thing murdered. I mean, not saying this thing doesn't, but I prefer shoddies. I guess it's just a doom guy in me. Just really liking shoddies. Oh, hey, it's that thing. Okay, well, I can't shoot that. Hi! Ow. Ow! You should have been crushed! Where 
Where am I? Ah! <laughs> That scared me. Okay. We're good. We're fine. I got this. And don't call me no scope McGee for nothing. Man, because I have no scope. mind getting a sniper rifle in one of these worlds. That'd be kind of cool. Hi, how are you? Although, I question if it'd be really useful. Uh-oh. We're trapped! We're trapped forever! In the land of the dead. Huh. Alright. <sighs> Leave it to me! Uh, I have no earthly idea what I'm making. Oh, is it a face? It, oh, gosh, it is a face. Uh, no, that's right. What am I missing? Oh. Missing that. There we go. I think that's... Yeah, oh, missed that. There we go. Don't know what that did, but... Oh, hey. Yeah. I have ascended. I am trying to be better than God. The heck am I saying? I ain't even entered my... I ain't even entered my prime. Taking over the world? We'll do it one day at a time. Time is an illusion. I think that I'm losing my mind. Flatbush zombies. That's not good. You shouldn't lose your mind. Don't do that. Okay, where is it? Weed. I think that's... Yeah, that's the, the other thing over there. Okay. I got what you're putting down. All right. Oh, hey. Hey there, floating blob. Of doom. Yeah, here it is. And... Chaboom! Did I hit that? Holy cow, I did. <laughs> I'm surprised. Huh. Hold on to nothing. Oh, oh, I'm inside the head, I think. I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do. Did I win? We dream of light in a pitch black room. Are our dreams a reality? Or are, are our dreams and reality one and the same? Is our perception of reality just God dreaming of light? If so, I thank God for the light. It's the most beautiful dream I've ever had. Okay. That whole thing made no darn sense to me. I did not understand what the heck that level was supposed to teach me. But hey, it's okay. Is there a new where it drives? Any new ones? No? Okay. Have you given the concept of God some thought? Um, yeah, sure, that one. Interesting. What about... Materia, the solid ground that we stand on. What about the darkness, the void of surrounding, the void surrounding the light, allowing the light to exist? What about the logic behind the curtains that runs between, that runs everything? If God is only one part of the universe, what makes up the other half? Okay, um, out of everything. Yes, that's what I feel as well. God is the whole picture, the universe, with all of its dimensions, possibilities, logic. Together with the conscious part of 
going aim and the conscious part going aimlessly through this maze that is ourselves how did it all start I don't think it ever started it's always been in the state of it is but I think we chose to explore it as a single consciousness from a one-dimensional impulse that runs between zero and one that impulse ran through all possible possibilities until it felt the need to reach new directions in its ever one-dimensional life and thus the second dimension was created and then the third, and so on until the last dimension, which contains all possible possibilities for the universe to exist and play out. These dimensions, of course, already existed in our universe, or as our universe, our, or God, contains every possible possibility. So, the universe is more of a state than anything. It's not moving or expanding, only specific part, or paths expand themselves. But God as a whole does not. It is just simply you moving through yourself. A maze, huh? The world, everything in it, is a static. Is, is static. A maze that stretches out in all directions, tunnels. The only thing that moves are we, the observers. We move through this maze. We are time. And we can change our perception of time, too, with substances or situations that are critical. We can even train to control your time flow, but it's quite scary and overwhelming. Will I or God ever die? Part of death is forgetting about the illusion of you. The ego, so uh, the ego, so will you, the body or person you once were or currently are, die or end? Yes, that person ends in a sense. It has always existed, will always exist in the tunnels of the universe, but the body is an illusion. The real you, the being behind it, will never end or die. Uh. There's always light at the end of the tunnel. Tunnels end, but pure consciousness never ends. It's a state. Take your time to digest it. That's why you're here. And when you return, I'll tell you how to use this to your advantage. So see you soon. Okay, you've given me some nuggets to chew on there. Not gonna lie. Give me some stuff to eat and think about. Mental food, if you will. In darkness, you are blind, so aimless we roam. The light will guide you all the way home. As plants strive for light, bloom, and reach their goal, so should we take flight towards the mother soul. Well, okay then. It's having limbo. Okay then. What's up? Yes, I want to read all your poems. Well, this one seems more cheery already. It's got sun. Sunlight. Light is all we are. Same energy and stars. All these moving parts are the cages of ours. They keep me locked away, forbidding me to see. Save your questions for another day. Who am I? What am I? What can I be? I'm fading, no. I'm shining bright. I'm fading, no. I am sunlight. That's cute. A little bit. It got a little bit morbid there for a minute, but hey, you know what? It's fine. Be who you are and stay what you feel, because those who mind do not matter. Those who matter do not mind. Some of this feeling philosophical. It's just a quote I read once. It's great, though. It reminds me to stay true to ourselves. It reminds us to stay true to ourselves and surround us with people who actually care about your well-being. Stop wasting energy trying to impress people who've who are never going to be impressed by you. They're lost, really. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I can agree with that. What is with your appendages? Like, what is... What is that? Is that the cat hair? Hey, how you doing? Find you. I'm okay. You seem to have grown since last time. Really? In what way? There's really no way to grow outwards. Okay, can you explain? <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to be funny. But, yeah... Whenever people grow or learn or change, they usually become more understanding of others, different situations and concepts. 
The more you learn and think, the more you grow. And that's always a good thing. Obviously, yeah. One would think so, yeah, but from what I've gathered, not everyone thinks that way. Really? Have you ever had a friend or something that seemed envious about something you've done or achieved? Let's say you've changed your opinion on something. You, no you now hold a broader perspective on something. Well, some people embrace that. Others say you've changed, like it's a bad thing. I guess. These people hold you down. I think they just don't understand or are afraid to change themselves. Being wrong is scary. It means you might have to change things about yourself. Gasp. Danger. Sorry, I got carried away. It's okay. Good. Okay. What's up? Welcome back. From D, how did it go? Got any more questions? Something about something. The whole universe is already pre-built as a tunnel system. The consciousness is there and always will be. We all share the same consciousness. Does that mean the future and past exist at the same time? Yes, everything exists at the same time, and you, your consciousness, is moving through the tunnels and is time itself. But why? What else did you do? Just be without time, without matter or purpose? It gets boring quite fast. Does that mean I'm alone? Well, in a sense, yes. It depends on how you define it. As a person, no, you're not alone. You're all here, but all are also one. As a consciousness, you are alone. Always have been, always will be. Uh, how do I know what's real? What really is real? People, like everything else in four dimensions, are tunnels. But you, experiencing this, are very, are very real. So is everyone, anyone else. Everyone is experiencing at the same time. I'm confused. One thing to remember is that this universe is vastly more enormous than anyone could imagine. Or, well, quite ironically, this universe is the universe imagining itself. <laughs> it's actually impossible for a person to comprehend the wholeness of the universe. Only when you've reached the state of wholeness, you, uh, you begin... You, be, you being everything that is. You can comprehend what you truly are. How everything works. I have not reached that state. At, have I not reached that state at some point? Well, yes and no. As a human, no, not even close. Being human is only a gateway to a higher consciousness, an understanding of yourself. But at an infinite number of other occurrences, you as the wholeness have experienced yourself as the wholeness you are. Uh, my head hurts. <laughs> oh, my head hurts. Well, I am you, sort of, like the memory you left behind from the previous trips in the universe. You've recorded everything you've observed and thought about, concepts you've discovered, and so on. So you're my diary? Sort of, yeah, and this is how you far you've written so far in this cycle. Cycle? Yes, each cycle is determined by how long it took for you to discover your true self, then forgetting about yourself and simply start over. Sounds kind of pointless. That's pretty much the point. Saying that the universe or your life is a, has a point is quite pointless in itself, as a point or meaning is something completely subjective, and to be able to hold a subjective opinion, you need to be a self, a person or being as your true self, and you are everything, not really a self, or a being. So the state is supposed to be pointless? <laughs> well, you see, it's not really that simple. When you reach the state, when you reach that state, everything and I mean, everything will be clearer to you. That completeness is an, aest an aesthetic point of being that. Well, can't be put into words. How do you know all this? Because we've been here before. You and I. But I'm only giving you hints on the way there. What's the fun in spoiling everything for you? I'm more here to make sure you don't stray far away from the path, from your path. What happens if I do? Not much. You can't really do much harm other than to yourself in the sense that you might get into an unpleasant place where nothing makes sense and you're terrified. 
Let's just say it's far from fun. Like a psychosis? Exactly. I've been there many times. So you're here to make sure I don't go insane. Let's not go that far. Insanity in itself is not always bad. What is sanity to you? Not crazy? Did you notice I asked if it meant to you? Again, it's something subjective. There is no objective sanity, no objective insanity. It's all in your head. Well, in your current subjective experience. And how much insanity can be good? Yes, it, if, insa if sanity for the current generation of the human race is being unhappy, work until you die, only to buy stuff that doesn't make you happy, then that sanity might not be healthy or good. Likewise, if choosing to live in nature, enjoying every moment as it is, as it is meditating and appreciating life is insane, then isn't insane quite good? I guess it depends on the individual. Exactly. So I'm only here to make sure you don't go down a path that will leave you in a state of deep depression, as some lifestyles and choices will inevitably do. And you can, however, completely ignore all the advice and, stay, and stray as far away f as you want. You will, however, never be able to escape what you are. So I'm a prisoner of myself? Suddenly I feel claustrophobic. Yes, quite ironic, isn't it? The vastness of everything, the infinite number of possibilities, the universe provides, and yet, we sometimes feel like it isn't enough. Like we are trapped, doomed, if you will. Ugh, I need some time to digest this. You're in no hurry. Take all the time you need. This, li this life, the next, as many as you'd like, until you feel like reaching the state of complete bliss. As you once said, maybe it's better to live in sleep, in constant dreamscapes. What is reality, anyway? Couldn't have put it better myself. Okay, well, off you go to your next adventure. Good gravy, this game is just putting so much info in my brain. Philosophical things, man. I frequently dream about catching rabbits. It's starting to frighten me. I'm afraid. I'm already afraid of water. I can barely control my movements and impulses. I'm highly anxious, paranoid even. Sometimes I can't sleep for days at a time. I experience memory loss and I keep drifting in and out of consciousness. And... Any hallucinations yet? Sorry, that's really hard to read. I don't know. It's hard to tell at this point. Wait, who are you? Hey, that's fun. Oh, losing control. I don't want to lose control! I like being in somewhat semi-control. Oh, hi. Hi, hi! No! Ow! No! Stop it! Stop it! I gotta ask you some questions, you weird mages! This guy's hurt. I don't know how to fight these things. This axe has such little range. And like they get up on you. I need health. I need health. Where you at? Where you at, girl? Holla at me. Come at me, bruh. Where you at? Oh. Got it. I really need a health pickup. Like now? Now'd be great. Or like a gun? Oh, thank you. That's much better. Alrighty, so I'm about to lose control of something. Or something's gonna lose control of me. Cha! Death from above! Hi, how are you? I wish you could like throw this axe. I know it's, it'd be like a one-shot thing, but it'd be really cool. Okay, that goes over there. Well, I need another health pickup. Hopefully that health pickups respond. I don't know if it does, actually. Oh no! Oh, that answered that question. I don't have any guns. 
stuff. Okay, there's apparently a gun somewhere. We have to find that gun. I think it's shoddy too hotty time. Which is good, because I love me my shoddy too hotty. Sorry, I had to itch my face. Alrighty. Let's go pick us up a shoddy too hotty. Hello? Oh, thank you. I needed that. Keona Reeves! Oh, wow. Yeah, he died. Yes, my shoddy too hotty, baby. I think you're a shoddy too hotty. Oh, uh, you're a pissed off. Well, that's a bunch of disappointment. Thanks, son. Calm down. That guy did not want to die. No, hi. Oh, hi. Here? Nope. Uh, here's another guy. Hi, right, who are you? Come out, come out, wherever you are! You sick, cultist freak in nature! Hi, right, who are you? Where'd you go? Punch him! Memo? Good. Let's bust down this door. Oh, what? Uh, I see. Hi, how are you? Wanted to bust down the door. Huh. These levels are getting a lot more short, I've noticed. Oh, well, never mind. Well, that's egg on my face. Hello! You know, it's really unfair that I've got a gun and you guys are. Just got sickles. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. I'm sorry. I'm just stating the obvious. It's really sad, actually. Like, like, really sad. I feel bad. No, oh, I. Woohoo! You give me a fright! Mamma mia! <laughs> nope, you're dead. Uh, I don't see anything else. Let's riggedy roll! Hello! Could you stand. Uh, I mean, that, that, I did ask you to stand still, but not specifically there. That's fine. There you go. Right there, I thought there was an arrow. I was about to be like, oh no, they found ranged weaponry. Oh, whatever will I do in this troubling times? Okay. I think we're doing okay so far. But we're probably going to end this after this. Oh, hey. I about shot him. Uh, hi. You're not gonna shoot me in the face, are you? Please don't. Hi, where are you? Jackie Dow! Don't get any closer. Wait, your eyes. You're not one of them. Them? It's a long story, but those red-eyed people, they're cultists. I knew it! I was right! A crazy cult, huh? It's actually people I know. Rather, or knew, rather. Long story short, a stranger came to our village. Seemed okay at first, but then he took more and more liberty. Until he pretty much started controlling people. Why would he do- why would you let him do that? We didn't, or most of us didn't. But somehow, some of us thought he was right. He was loud, he seemed to have all the answers, and yet, and everyone, and anyone who would object got him made fun of, or threatened. You'd think people would see that some point of warning, or some sort of warning sign, right? Apparently not. Sad. What about their red eyes? Exactly! I got suspicious 
something felt awry when more and more started following him. So I followed them one night. He gave his followers something, a powder or of some a power of something. I'm a bit of an amateur chemist, so I took a sample of the powder. Oh, powder. Okay. I was right the first time. And did some experiments. I administered the substance to some rats, and they seemed to follow one of the sober rats. At one point, the new rat leader attacked one of the other sober rats, and the whole zombie gang jumped on it as well. It wasn't a pretty sight. So can we cure them? I don't know for sure, but I have an idea. Let's hear it. Well, for some of them, I think it's too late. They're probably gone mad from the amounts of substance abuse. But there are others who are just now being forced the substance. There might still be some time to save them. So here's what I'm thinking. The chemical makes them obey given orders, right? Well, it doesn't make sense to me that they would only follow his orders. I think we can tell them what to do as well. So what if you t tell them that they are they have free will? They don't have to follow given orders, given rules anymore. They are free to think for themselves. It's still an order, but if they obey it, they would they would be free. That's what I hope at least. Sounds risky, but let's try it. Okay, take this rifle. It has a long-range scope, so we should have an advantage from this point. Take down the cultists, but leave the villagers, please. Cover me while I get down and try and cure the villagers. Okay. Oh, snap! I finally have a scope! Okay. Uh, boom! 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 Oh, almost shot you. Boom! Boom! Ah! Boom! Oh, here. Okay, he's dead. Where's the other guy at? I saw one guy! You can't escape me! Oh, hi. Ow! Ah! Ha ha! Screw with you, good sir! We win? I can't tell. Like, looks like all the cultists are dead? But also, I can't find my friendo. Oh, there he is. We done? Yes, everyone survived. And they seem to be able to recover fully. I can't believe it actually worked. Telling them they were free will. They have free will. That they can choose to follow the one glimpse of an impulse in their heads. And completely break the spell. It will probably take a while before they are in full possession of their senses though. Wait, do you hear that? The airship! We want now? Uh huh? The hoot? Oh, that thing. Can I get a healthy pickup? Yeah, that's more like it. This is the cult leader's airship. He has his lab in there. Let's confront him. Give me the rifle and I'll cover you while you enter the ship. I'll join you once the cultists are taken care of. Sounds like a plan. But I have to admit, I've never fired a gun before. Can you give me a quick rundown? Uh, yeah, that one. Breathe calmly. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. I won't let you down. Okay, let's do this. Go in and I'll be right behind you. When you've made it to the cult leader. I was like, ah, oh, heck no. I am not uh, doing this with a... Oh, that's really cool. Now let's do this! Yeah! Rampage! This dude's actually a pretty decent shot. Not gonna lie. Hello. Oh. 
Hello, how are you? Oh wow, he shot people in here! Holy cow. Dude knows what he's doing. Come on. Got him. Out shot, yep. The person most in control is the person who can give up control. Huh. Hello! How are you? What the heck? What are you what have you done? Me? Why have you drugged the villagers? So you figured it out, huh? Well, let me at least explain myself, then you might see things differently. It all came to me long ago. It was but a kid I was but a kid back then. I realized how much pain and suffering we go through as humans. We are born into this world, scared, alone, abandoned by God. We don't know our purpose here. Every moment we choose something, we are anxious because we don't know what enta entra entails from that decision. What if my decision, my action, causes someone else to suffer or even die? So each time we make a choice, we know we may be guilty of bringing pain to others, and even ourselves. Get to the point. It's more complicated than that, but okay, okay. I was drugged by someone. Anything she said, I did without thinking or even brushing the thought. It was amazing to not have to make the decisions. I, could be held, I couldn't be held accountable for any of my actions because they weren't my actions. My body and my mind acted on its own. This is the most beautiful way to live. None of these people suffer. They don't do anything wrong in their eyes. They simply follow the directions of, well, me. What about the people who refuse? They are dead. It, it was the greater good. We have to see that. They tried to stop me, us, from this utopia. We were going to build. We couldn't let that happen. Well, you, well, you have to understand, what you did was unethical. The way I see it, I chose to become a, mar a martyr for them. They didn't have to make... Th have to make those decisions, okay. I made all those calls for them. Surely, killing other m others might not be the best of practices, but I assure you, it was the only way. Free will is part of our lives. Why should we have it and not have- and not them? Well, you- please, I just- Don't force change on others. Change yourself instead. You're right. I could have just let them choose them for themselves. It's not up to me to carry the burden of others. I just thought- I'll let you go, but don't do this again. Thank you. I'll take my leave. Cool! Talking things out. Ah! You, uh, came up here very speedily. I saw you let him go. I hope we, he will learn a lesson and not terrorize people again. Do you know where the exit is? Hmm. I saw this huge strange gate in the sky earlier. We might as well take the airship there. Join me in the tavern. Thanks, I will. I really need to get out of here. Too many bad memories attached to this place. Whoa! Oh, cool! I'm flying an airship! Ha <laughs> ha! Yarg, me mateys! I've always wanted to pilot an airship before. Oh, oh, step! I actually get to do it! <laughs> I thought I was just doing a cutscene! Ahoy! First mate! Watch out for the mountains! Keep an eye out! I'm gonna be doing stupid things, like doing barrel rolls. Are you okay with barrel rolls? I don't know if you're okay with it, but you're gonna be okay with barrel rolls! <laughs> ah. Yes! Quite! Right, I think we're good. Slowly we turn our ship towards the sky! 
Oh, this is awesome. I love it. Wish I could shift into other gears, though. Like metal gears. This is pretty! Uh, it's kind of weird I can turn my head 360 degrees, but hey, you know what? Some people are more talented than others. Alright, let's just hopefully not hit that bank there. Yeah, we're doing just peachy. Let's turn ourselves this way. There we go. Yes, perfect. How does this thing work exactly, dude? Like, do you know? I don't see any sort of, like, thing that propels us. I guess wind or whatever. I don't know how things work. I'm just piloting it. Also, it's my first time, so be easy on me. This is awesome. Can I just get a game of this? Like, can I just get a game of just me sailing to different areas? Like, be a trader or something like that. You want to be a trader, dude? Like, that'd be cool. Trading stuff. Being awesome. Wouldn't that be awesome? What do you think? Think it'd be awesome? I think it'd be awesome. I mean, just think about it. We could, we could like, live inside our ship at night, just sleep all the night away, then wake up the next morning, or during the, just before dawn, and sail our ship to the rising sun. It'd be great. And then go to different towns and just sell our wares and pick up more wares and then sell those wares in other places. Wouldn't that be just grand? All the while just sailing the open skies like Treasure Planet. Hey, there's our ride. All right, well, this was fun. Kind of want to end. You want to just not do that? You want to just not go through the portal? Does that sound like a plan? I mean, we can still- we can still turn this thing around! Do the whole merchant thing. You know. Wouldn't mind it. Would you- would you be okay with that? I mean, I know I'm on a journey and all, but, uh... Kinda wanna- kinda wanna do that. I mean, it is my mind, right? My noodle. I can do what I want. You're right, you're right, I know, I know. It's- it's- it's, it's all part of the quest. We all- we gotta make sacrifices. Make sacrifices, right? But we could still turn around, I mean, it's not like, you know, this has to be a sacrifice we have to make, right? Ah, fine, you win. Alrighty, well, that, oh, hey, whoa. Oh, okay, I was just turned around there for a minute. Alrighty, well, I'd say that does us for another thrilling episode of this strange realm of mine. And what a strange journey we've been on. Hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you'll be fantastic day. If we want to check out this strange realm of mine... And then there's a link in the description down below. I can tell the game's got a, something it wants to say, and I think it's doing a pretty good job of it. The characters are nice. I like the characters, and I like the levels. Some of them are a little bit shorter than others, but by the same token, they're all fun and unique, and add a bit of spice to the game as a whole. So anyway, guys, I'll catch you on the flip side with more crazy content and more The Strange Realm of Mine in the future. Bye-bye.